Hey, what's up everyone? Out here riding at Parisher today. Got some weather rolling through. Probably some of the wettest conditions you'll ever find yourself in. And today, Kevin and I are gonna do some laps of the park to do an outerwear test. Let's see if this is gonna keep us dry, if we're just gonna be all right, or if we're just gonna be completely soaked. Let's get these laps going, and we'll let you guys know how it works out. Totally dry on the inside. Totally dry. The pants didn't do as well as the jacket, that's for sure. But in all fairness, I've ridden over 100 days in them, never washed them, never reapplied DWR, so it's not a fair test. You never wash your pants, dude? <laughs> no. So you, can, uh, so you can see the outer layer of the jacket got completely soaked, but it actually did really well as far as not letting the water through to the inside. So I'm happy with it. I think uh, that's a win on the test. How many Ks is that jacket? 15K waterproofing on this guy, the Volcom 5050. And honestly, we only did two laps that are out there for maybe an hour. I think uh, if you try to do a full day, I wouldn't trust it. But for short term, really, really wet conditions, it held up pretty well. It's not too often that you snowboard in the pouring rain though. No, we made, we made an exception today for sure. Yeah, that was for you guys. All right, so Kevin's got some analog gear. How'd it hold up, dude? I think pretty well, considering we were snowboarding in the pouring rain. Uh, the worst place for me usually is when you're sitting on the chairlift, all that water pools on your legs, and my thighs, they're damp. They're, like I can feel it's damp on the inside, but it's not soaking wet. So the dampness did get through, but I'm not soaked. And then same with, with my arms, there's some dampness, but it's not soaking. My gear is probably not made for the pouring rain, but I think normal conditions it would stand up pretty decent. Do you know what the waterproofing is on your pants? So I think the pants, the analog pants are 10K, and yeah, they're definitely made for just regular snow conditions. Not, not the best for a, a day like today with the pouring rain. Did you notice any uh, water beating action happening on the pants early on in the day, or was it, did it get soggy pretty quick? No, no beating happening. Everything just kind of started to look wet right from the start. Fair, fair yeah. assessment. Yeah, I want to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling pretty nasty, you want to go home, get dried off, but uh, I'm stoked that we got some laps in. Definitely made the most of the day. We did. So outerwear ranges from about 5K to 20K waterproofing. Then you also have the higher end stuff like Gore-Tex that's supposed to be uh, pretty much completely waterproof. And you really get what you pay for. So I'd be considering your home mountain conditions as a top priority. If you're riding out on the East Coast where typically it's a lot colder and you're gonna have drier snow, you probably don't need to get the most waterproof gear compared to somewhere like the Pacific Northwest where wet heavy snow is a lot more common. So just consider those things things. Hope you guys found this video helpful. I'm glad to call it a day, get back to the spot and try to get this gear dried off for tomorrow. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you're subscribed over here at Board Archive and Snowboard Pro Camp. We'll see you guys in some new videos soon here from Perisher. Later guys.